In today's video, we'll go over Adobe Acrobat DC versus Fox at PDF Editor. For decades, the PDF has been the undisputed standard for sharing documents, right? But choosing the right tool to manage them, well, that can feel like a real title fight. In one corner, you have the industry giant, the original creator that set the standard, and in the other, a powerful challenger, promising robust features, a faster experience, and a better price. So which one truly deserves a place in your workflow? Let's find out. You know, if you're a professional, a student, or you run a business, you've definitely been here. You get that client contract, a super dense research paper, or a whole batch of invoices, and you need to do way more than just read it. Maybe you're a lawyer who has to redact sensitive client info, or a student who's highlighting and annotating articles, or maybe you're a small business owner who needs to whip up some fillable forms. The tool you use for this stuff isn't just a small choice. It's a core part of your digital toolkit that can either speed you up or really slow you down. And believe me, your choice of PDF editor has a massive impact. It hits your daily productivity for sure. A clunky, slow interface costs you valuable time, while a smooth one can save you hours every week. It affects your document security, which is just absolutely critical if you're handling confidential contracts or HIPAA-compliant medical records. It shapes how you collaborate with your team, and of course, it hits your budget. This isn't just about software, we're talking about your entire workflow. So in this showdown, we've got two main contenders. In one corner, there's Adobe Acrobat, the OG, the original creator of the PDF format itself. It's the industry standard Titan, the tool that's basically synonymous with PDFs. Then in the other corner, we have Foxit PDF Editor. This is the powerful challenger that's become the leading alternative by promising great features, a more intuitive experience, and a much friendlier price point for pretty much everyone. Okay, so to settle this, we're gonna compare their core features. We'll look at usability and performance, check their security and collaboration tools, crunch the numbers on pricing, and then deliver our final verdict. First up, core features. Let's see how these two handle the tasks you're doing every single day. Let's start with the basics, editing. Now, both platforms let you edit text and images, but their workflow is fundamentally different. While Adobe has a really powerful set of tools, moving a block of text or an image isn't a simple drag and drop deal. You often have to cut and paste. Foxit, however, built its editor around an intuitive drag and drop system. You can just select a paragraph, a headline, or a picture and slide it into place. For anyone making frequent layout changes, that's a huge time saver. Next up is Optical Character Recognition, or OCR. You know, the magic that turns flat scan documents into searchable, editable PDFs. Both tools have excellent OCR, but a lot of reviewers find that Foxit says is sometimes even more accurate at recognizing text. Foxit also adds a really powerful tool that Adobe doesn't have natively, AI-based redaction. It automatically finds and removes sensitive info like names or social security numbers. For legal and compliance work, that feature alone can be a total game changer. What about forms and e-signatures? They're critical for modern business. Adobe makes form filling super simple, and it integrates perfectly with its separate Adobe Sign Service. But that's a separate and often pretty expensive subscription. Foxit's approach is different. Its higher tier Editor Plus plan includes Foxit e-sign capabilities right out of the box, with no extra cost. That means you're not juggling subscriptions, and it's a much lower overall price for businesses that rely on digital signatures. Okay, next up, Usability and performance. Features are great and all, but which one actually feels better to use day in and day out? You know, one of Foxit's biggest selling points is its interface. It's designed to look and feel just like Microsoft Office. For the millions of people who've spent years working in Word or Excel, this means Foxit just feels familiar right from the get-go. The learning curve is practically flat, which is a huge advantage for businesses wanting to get their teams up and running fast. And on the flip side, we have a common complaint about Adobe Acrobat. Because it's just packed with decades of professional-grade features, it can be a real resource hog. Users often say it feels bloaty or slow, especially when opening big files or running on machines that aren't top of the line. That performance lag can be a source of daily frustration and a real drag on productivity, which is exactly what Foxet has tried to solve by being lighter and faster. All right, let's talk about two things that are absolutely non-negotiable for any business, security and collaboration. On security, both platforms cover the essentials like password protection and heavy-duty encryption. Adobe, however, is the undisputed gold standard for industries with strict compliance needs. It's got specialized features like Bates numbering for legal docs and certified digital signatures that carry serious legal weight. But Foxit is a powerhouse too, especially for businesses in the Microsoft ecosystem. 
It integrates directly with systems like Active Directory, letting IT departments extend their existing security policies to PDFs seamlessly. That's a massive plus for enterprise-level control. And now, for what might just be the deciding factor for many of you, the price. Let's look at the bottom line. Before we jump into the numbers, just a quick note on transparency. All the pricing you're about to see was verified on August 27th, 2025, and it's based on the annual cost for one person. Now, prices can and do change, so it's always smart to check the vendor's websites for the absolute latest details. So this pricing table really paints a clear picture. Foxit is the more affordable option, straight up. Its standard plan is cheaper, and that gap gets way bigger at the pro level, where Foxit's plan is nearly 30% less expensive than Acrobat Pro. Even their new AI assistant add-ons follow this trend. But the biggest difference here, and for many the most important one, is the perpetual license. Foxit lets you buy the software outright with a one-time payment, an option Adobe just doesn't offer anymore. For anyone who really dislikes the subscription model, that's a huge deal. So after breaking down features, usability, security, and price, it is time for the final verdict. Let's pull it all together and help you decide which one's for you. Let's start with the Titan Adobe Acrobat. Its biggest strengths are undeniable. It's the industry standard, so you never have to worry about compatibility. If you're already deep in Adobe's Creative Cloud, the integration is just seamless. And for that high-level security and compliance stuff in fields like law, it's simply unmatched. The downsides, though, are just as clear. It costs a lot more, it has a steeper learning curve, and it can be pretty slow and demanding on your computer. Now for the challenger, Foxit PDF Editor. Its pros basically read like a direct answer to Adobe's cons. It is much more affordable, it's known for being faster and more lightweight, and that intuitive interface makes it super easy to learn. Plus, that perpetual license is a huge draw. On the other hand, it does have some weaknesses. The Mac version isn't a native app, so it can sometimes struggle with really big files. And while it offers e-signed features, the most advanced ones are reserved for the higher tier plans. So how do you choose? Well, it really just comes down to this. You should probably choose Adobe Acrobat if you're already living in the Adobe Creative Cloud, if your job requires the absolute highest level of certified security, and if budget isn't your main worry. But you should go with Foxhead PDF Editor if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, if you'd rather buy your software once and own it forever, and if you just need a fast, intuitive tool that your whole team can pick up and use right away. Ultimately, the best PDF editor is the one that fits your specific needs and your wallet. Both are incredibly powerful tools. They just have different priorities. So now I want to turn it over to you. Which editor powers your workflow? Is it the Titan or the Challenger? And did our breakdown match your real-world experience? Drop a comment below and let us know what you think.